Lita versus Pure. Here we go. Okay, let's get the colors and positions on Eye of the Storm. Four-player map. Looks like Pure is orange. That means he's down here at the 5 o'clock position. And up at the 2 o'clock position was Lita. I have a feeling this is going to be a good one. Because uh, looking at the way Pure played against Hyuk, I watched Pure's games against Hyuk, and they were actually very impressive. Uh, Pure's actually... He's kind of brought himself up to being a very good player. Uh, he showed a lot of great mechanics against Hyuk, and Hyuk has kind of been on fire recently, so that win kind of surprised me. Uh, he even took the game to Heartbreak Ridge. He lost the second game, took it to Heartbreak Ridge, and still won on Heartbreak Ridge, even though Heartbreak Ridge has kind of been a uh, graveyard for Protoss when it comes to Zerk. But he came out with some great strategies, some excellent storms, and it seemed... <laughs> how many of his high templar got sniped didn't matter because he just had more and more out in the field for more and more storms but uh unfortunately for pure he's going up against lita here and lita i would put him in the top three terran at the moment uh lita his style he has great style when it comes to games he's very unpredictable and he has excellent mechanics, excellent, excellent micro, some of the best Wraith micro in the game. Of course, his Wraith micro will probably not help him against Pure here today. But I wouldn't put it past Lita to come up with some kind of a Wraith build against Pure. And I think Pure is actually going for a 12 Nexus here. I think he's going to put, a, put down a very fast Nexus while Lita is walling off inside of his main with a Barax. But yeah... Uh, the unfortunate part for Pure here is he's going against a very, very high-level player. I think an S-class level player in Lita. And Lita is certainly very hungry to move back up into the OSL. Uh, I don't think he was very happy about the way he was knocked out of the last OSL by his teammate, Type B. But yes, he's a very, very strong player, especially when he's hungry for a win. But, yeah, the good thing for Pure, though, and the good thing for Pure is that Lita, his worst matchup is against Protoss. I mean, Lita, he's extremely good versus Zerk. He has excellent, excellent, unpredictable Terran versus Terran. He's actually used nukes before in Terran versus Terran. But uh, his versus Protoss, it's good. Actually, it's great, but it's not... Mm, he just can't seem to make it count when he needs it to count. I re I'm remembering back to his game against Movie, uh, the ace game against Movie, basically where it was up to his whole team was depending on him to beat Movie so his team could move up uh, through the Pro League. It was getting into the later end of the Pro League, but Movie coming out with an unexpected win, and Movie did excellently against uh, Lita on Coliseum 2, I believe was the map. It's like pure, all oh, pure, and not even able to get inside the main with that first scout. But that was because there was a marine in there. And I'm kind of anxious to see pure play more. I haven't seen a lot of pure games, but the pure games that I have seen have actually been excellent. I'm remembering back to his games against July in the MSL. Those were excellent. I'm, Leah, looking back on his games against Hyuk, like I said, he just played very, very well. And the, th the thing about Pure is, uh, I don't know, I have a thing for uh, pro gamers to actually look unique. I like the way Effort looks, say, and I like the way GoGo -Go looks, because they just look so weird. And when it comes to Pure, Pure is one of the weirder looking pro gamers, I believe. And uh, <laughs> that kind of puts him in favor with me. I'm sick of everyone looking the same. I got their glasses. They look like dorks. But Pure, he definitely looks like a Protoss player. Uh, I'm remembering to when I called Movie starting to look like a Protoss player because he is getting the emo hair going. But Pure has it all. He has the emo hair. He has uh, that weird chiseled face. He even looks like kind of the Protoss race if you think about it. But yes, that out of the way. Uh, we'll see how he performs against Lita here today. Factory coming up for Lita. Lita could be going for a push of some kind, but he is expanding. His he has expanded again, so don't expect to push for a little while. Looks like Dragoon Range is spinning for Pure, and we'll see if Pure's versus Terran is as good as his uh, versus Zerg today. He played uh, very calmly against Hyuk. He never seemed to be losing his cool. After the, each game, he would kind of. Uh, pull up this little cloth or maybe a bean bag or something and just kind of roll it around in his hands. No expression on his face. So you could tell he was just thinking about the next game. Even when he lost, he just 
took that bean bag up. He's kind of rolling it around. He's like, okay. It's probably a hand warmer, actually. That's more likely. The hand warmer. You know those things where you can rip the bottom of them. Well, rip the middle and it uh, starts to get warm. Whatever. But <laughs> looks like Lita is defending his front with a bunker now. So he's going to stop harassment and he's going to stop an early kind of a push from Pure here. Pure is getting out some Dragoons. But I don't think he's going to try to push this even though there is a bunker in. Uh, he's going to have Dragoon range out, so he could try to pick up that bunker for a little while, but I think Lita will be smart enough to repair that soon and keep the bunker from going down. Pure is coming up for the aggression. He's going to keep Lita inside that base, make sure he's not going for anything fishy. Uh, since he is so much in the dark here, Pure is very, very much in the dark. Uh, he's going to probably assume that Lita's going... Always assume the worst in StarCraft. He's assuming Lita might be going for... Uh, a push here with a lot of factories but a lead up throwing down a lot of turrets now he's going to try to keep shuttle play from coming into this one shuttle could completely wreck his uh, tank troop here so he's probably going to build another yeah he's going to build another turret around his tanks just to keep them safe <laughs> 